What is up guys, Jordan 95 here, and today I'm back to be review of the Transformers Prime Robots in the Sky Deluxe Class Air Arachnids. Arachnids, whatever. Now this figure, Arachnids, it was made by Hasbro in 2012. This honestly, this is considered to be one of the worst Transformers i ever seen. I've seen a couple review of Arachnids, they said everybody hates her. Everybody hates figure, especially the TJ Omega and the Pew say no, just no. So I'm doing it myself. So here is Arachnius. For most who don't know, Arachnius, she is the first introduced a new character appears in Transor Prime Season 1. And she's a female Septicon, is one of the RC is one of his arch rivals. And he was one of the first rivals. And he was somehow was like he aboard to recruit the Nemesis ones. Later in season two and later the episode three, I think episode four, it turns out the Arachnus, she's a double crossing, and we find out in season two, later the episode, she's double crossing at the Septicon, she's double crossing, she's betrayal, and when he later he murder his barricade, he gets double crossing and he was left behind. And also he controls Unfortunately for her, she trapped and she trip accidentally. She traps into some kind of frozen pod. It's sealed pod and frozen. So she's never seen her in the, any episodes. And later, in the episode, so he unleashed, unleashed his army Septicons. It was final clear episode of episode called Thurs. Because, you know, it's season three. He actually small cameo in the first episode. He takes a pod like via consists. Later in the episode of the thirds, which is probably one of the darkest, scariest episode, he was on how he accidentally released by barricade. Oh, sorry, not barricade. Breakdown. He was turned into a zombie known as Terracon, just gone crazy. He released them. And somehow he actually attacks them. Breakdown. He knocks any scratchers or tongue, whatever. And so after that, he kills Breakdowns. Deactivate. So now the Arachnids get ultimate revenge. He tries again, tries to kill Negatroners. However, the Soundwave is not happy. He shows up nowhere and he uses a space risk portal and he turns it, suck into the space portal along with his Hunticon. He was on the Cybertron platform nowhere. It's now she's stuck. So now she's stuck along with Septicon. At the last minute, she turns out she turns into a zombie and she gets Zorb to devour um, Septicon. And she end up being kills on off the screen. And that's pretty much it. This reason why Arachnus is one of the most hated Transformers character is one of the most hated character in the Transformers. And is also one of the worst cartoon villains in all time. That's pretty much it. She's never seen her again. She was she does not return. She's never seen her again. And she's never mentioned again. Sure, she turned a zombie, she's never seen her again. That's about the story about the Arachnus. Also, she also may appear in the IDW comics. I think it's the most recent I Transformer comics. She made a small cameo. He also made IDW comics. She made her small cameo or Easter egg. He does have appear in Robots in Sky that kind of looks like her. He's now orange to black. We'll never tell what it is. So, anyway, enough of that character. Let's talk about the figure itself. Let's on to the vehicle itself. Now, the vehicle is a base on the... What kind of vehicle is he? What is based on a helicopter? He has a little, he has a little blade. He's got a little blade here. It's a purple blade. Now I've never seen this. The vehicle is fine. Was actually good like he has a windshield. He has a pink. What he translates is plastic. You better open this. this. A better open this eye. Oh, oh, and you can see, unfortunately, he's sorry about the snap. Better close the look at you. Can there you see she has a seat in her cockpit. There's she has her, her cockpit that was kind of cool. It wasn't very cool. This cockpit also, his blade is also removed. She comes over, looks like her blade. And to transform, it gets looks like this. That kind of looks like a sword. This is kind of stupid. This is kind of pretty stupid. That's the stupidest weapon surgery. I guess my preferred 
wings and that. Now, for our transformation herself, I'm just gonna take this off. Also, her other surgery, she comes with her looks like it's some kind of a spider claw guns device thing, whatever you want to call it. It says a black and purple and orange, or sorry, gold plastic thing. It's got little peg holes. It's got little peg holes here, or the holes. And so that case, Sirhuria Ragnus without his chapter looks like he's scorpion or lost or thing, whatever. <laughs> That's just pretty stupid. Now, for Transformer to Ragnus, oh, so down here he has a robot Jensen. Anyway, on her Transformer self, first of all, let's start to open the cockpit. Do it as unpeg, and this is kind of tricky. Now let's start unpeg. So it's unpeg. That's for her wing. Unpeg his legs. So what's that? Let's start to thin it. Sort of rotate here. There's his hand. Do the same thing. And this is gonna tricky. Now see that her head he was supposed to you now you suppose her one hand you push off any snap of the pieces. So yeah. So here is a right. Oh, let's not forget. Oh, cockpit. Cockpit here. So yeah. So there we go. Here is Arachnus in his robot in her robot mode. Now, don't get me wrong. This is actually pre now detail is pretty solid. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty close likeness he did in the anime is accurate, or actress, like she did in the cartoon. I, no, the only thing is a good thing or a bad thing. Well, the only bad thing is, look at the second, let's talk about the good parts. The only good thing is this, is the head, sort of close to look at, or close to look or see. I actually like the, her head. It kind of reminds me. It is a Melissa from the Disney Sleepy Beauty. It's the horn designs. And the problem is his arms feel loose. It's kind of feel loose. I actually do like it has a set to come. He has a little to set to come. A little point out. It's kind of hard to see. It's kind of hard to see. It's little purples and black. Just a black plant. The whole body is just black. Purples. Mine's a little dust here. That I clean this off. And the rest of the back is just a whole all I also forgot. And yeah. That's my only bad thing this. And her feet looks like it's in kneels. Now her my biggest also her weapons as an as early to have his peg into his Plug in hole is here. Now, this is probably the stupidest weapon I've ever seen. Okay, not that that's a good thing. You know, his eyes are purple. Let's talk about really bad parts. Now, her bad part is the. I like his head, but her chest is fine. But the legs. Why his legs? He just stuck in hands is like so awkward. His arms is like completely awkward. The only thing that's missing his detailed paint is thigh legs. Should be more detailed like darker blue, purple, brightest, whatever. 
Here's the actual guy, the custom he actually did. She made her custom of the arachnids. She actually did a band of her legs, so check this out. Speaking of the size, now for size comparison. Now, speaking of her, which size comparison, here's next to Sanway. He's a little bit shorter. He's smaller. Sanway should be a bigger, but the Ragnus is a little bit smaller compared to size it is. And here's next to his star screen. Here is next to Megatron. And last, not forget, here is next to RC. Here is next to the RC. She's a little perfect size. Let's size it. And how size is. This one's no, she's her size, she's about six and a half inches or five and a half inches. I guess, I'm not sure. I guess it might be five inches, it might be confirmed. I don't have the rulers in case. Enough for that. Now for her articulation articulation sucks. This is definitely the worst part I've ever seen. Now, her head is does head bending. It's supposed to be head bend rotate. It's supposed to be head bend rotate his head, but you can't. It's just the only reason. That's right. The head can't turn. That's just because of disappointment. His arms goes up or down on the ball joint. It goes in and out that much. There's no bicep solo. He has a bent elbow. Then a double L, his hand left off the down because her her transmission. Sadly, no waist articulation, and of course the worst part is, her leg is bended. Her leg is bended. And oh, and that's why this is def. This is definitely the worst thing I've seen. His leg is horse and neck. It can't go down because that's just ridiculous. And it's incontent side. There's no incontent side to side. It's, you can't see it. There's no swole die. I kind of wish it was a bull joint, but then it. And her knee. And there's no ankle pit. And oh wait. Oh, he has ankle four as a back. That's her about it. So that's the rankiness here. So yeah. I hate this figure. I hate so much. This is why Reason the Regnus is one of the worst characters from the Transformer universe and is also one of the worst toy I've ever seen in my life. So anyway, so that is my review. Transformers, Robots Disguise, Pro Deluxe Class, Arachnus. This is gotta be one of the most disappointing figures I've ever seen in my life. The, uh, the only good part is the detail paint, but the rest of it is just a mess. It's got a bad detail, bad head sculpt. It's got a terrible articulation. I guess Hasbro should be ashamed because her legs should be a bull joint, but it's too late. It's ended up cash grab. It's just rushing the release. It has got to be one of the most disappointing figure I've ever seen. And this figure is made by Hasbro for 2012. So yeah, this is definitely worse figures. So, so anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, but excuse me a moment. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this scene. So thanks for watching and be sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe. So hopefully for more reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time. So thanks for watching. Bye.